Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to talk about form and input field in React. Alright, this is from the last video. We have created a say hi button like this. So let's remove some text over here. Let's go to app.js. Let's remove some component out of our application. So I'm going to remove this. Let me leave, uh, let me save. We have say hi button. So also let's remove say hi button as well. Just put only nav bar over there. And don't forget to remove uh, the component over here. Save. And you can remove the variables here. Okay, this should be good. All right, let's create a break line over here. Next, let's create form over here. Let's create input type text. Okay. I'm going to close this tag. When you go back to the web browser, you will see the tag field over here. If I type something on this text field, how can I access this text? How can I get this value and use it in my application? I have to create a variable for that input field. For example, I'm going to create variable name and I have to put function set name. This function will be used in input types text to set name variable. And then I have to use use state hook inside here the default value i put empty you can see i have error over here i have to import use state up here let's import use state from react okay the error disappear so you have to use this name with this input field okay i put value equal name if i go back to here and if if i type anything inside here it will show nothing because the name variable is empty. So how to make input type tag change to what I type? So I have to put on change equal event. So I have to set it, set name equal to e.target.value. It's equal to this value, okay? The event value. Save it. If I type anything, it will show it's over here. And if I want to show this name over here, for example, I put div, I can show the name over here. So if I type anything over here, so for example, Alex, see Alex, that means I can get uh, the data from input field by using name variable. For example, I put div here. What is your name? Next, let's create a submit button. Input type submit. Save. Let's go back to web browser. You will see submit button over here. Uh, when I click on this submit button, I want it to show an alert box. Okay, what I have to do is to create on submit over here. Then I have to create a function to handle this on submit event. Let's create function over here, con handle submit. Let's put event over here. Then put event dot prevent default to prevent is redirect to another page. Okay. And then you put handle submit function inside here, form on submit and then handle submit function. Then I can call alert dialog box over here and put name variable inside. Save. And if I go back here and I refresh this page and I type Alex, then if I click submit, it will show Alex over here. Over here, I can put like double code and my name is and plus sign and save. And if I click on over here, it will show my name is Alex, okay? This is how you use on submit in form to handle a function and how can you access uh, input value by using use state. All right, this is all about this tutorial. And if you like this tutorial, don't forget to click like, subscribe and comment down below.